The Muslims are coming. The Muslims are coming. Beware of Sharia law. Beware of Sharia law. So you have a suspicious terrorist looking Muslim neighbor, huh? So I have kind of practicing Islam. What? You mean you have become one of those bad guys? Oh! 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 Hmm, what terrorist activities is he up to today? Ah. Uh. The name Islam was given by our Creator in the last and final testament, the Quran. Torah was the Old Testament. Bible was the New Testament. And Quran was the last testament. And the word Islam was given by our Creator in the last testament. Invitation is a proof against Satan, against Iblis. Uh, Satan, Iblis, uh, try to convince everybody in the world that uh, Islam is a religion of hatred, that the more you are Muslim, the more you hate Jews, Americans, Europeans, and we have to stone Iblis. We have to stone Satan, to throw stones against him. <laughs> Are they not the people who kiss the ground five times a day? So, what's up with this weird way the Muslims pray? They seem to be kissing the ground. And they do it like five times a day. Isn't that pretty weird? Well, actually, if you look at many of the prophets of the Old Testament and the New Testament, they appear to have prayed similar way. For example, Old Testament, as Kyle 11, 13, it says, Fell I down upon my face, and cried with a loud voice, and said, Ah, Lord God. 2 Chronicles 20, 18, Old Testament. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. Old Testament, Eskiel 9, 8 And I was left, and I fell upon my face, and cried. Old Testament, Joshua 5, 14 And Joshua fell on his face to the earth, and did worship. Old Testament, Nehemiah 8, 6 It says, with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads, and worshipped the Lord with faces to the ground. Old Testament, Numbers 16, 20-22. Moses, unto Aaron, and they fell upon their faces, and said, O God. Old Testament, Exodus 34, 8. And Moses made haste, and bowed his head toward the earth, and worshipped. New Testament. Matthew 
26, 39. And he, Jesus, went a little further and fell on his face and prayed. New Testament, Matthew 17, 6. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. Old Testament, Genesis 17, 3. And Abraham fell on his face and God talked with him. Old Testament, Genesis 17, 17. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed. So, it looks like most of the prophets of the Old Testament and the New Testament seem to have prayed similar way the Muslims are praying today. Isn't that interesting? I wanted to play. And we, the Jews, pray to the direction of Jerusalem, yes? So, I ask uh, uh, Ali and Emre, uh, I, want, I, I, I didn't find them, but I wanted to know what is the direction of Jerusalem in my, uh, depart, in my apartment. Muslims are not allowed here. Oops. Sorry, sisters. I thought you were Muslim. So, what's up with these Muslim women wearing veils? Is it really necessary? Shouldn't they not be subjugated by being forced to wear veils? Well, actually, if you look at the Bible, Corinthians 11, 5, 6, you will see that, but every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head. Or that is even all one as if she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Well, looks like even the Bible encourages women to wear veil, not only the Muslims. Leviticus 19.27 and 21.5, the King James Version, Cambridge Edition, it says, You shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. So, it looks like beard is not only in Islam, but the Bible also talks about keeping beard. I always thought Allah was some kind of a new god living in a black box in a place called Mecca in Saudi Arabia. Who? What is Allah? Is it a moon god living in Mecca in Saudi Arabia? No, 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 no. The Aramaic word for God in the language. Of Assyrian Christians is Elaha or Alaha. Arabic speakers of all Abrahamic faiths, including Christians. 
Americans and Jews use the word Allah to mean God. The Christian Arabs of today have no other word for God than Allah. <laughs> so, your teacher quoted the Holy Quran and quoted the wisdom of uh, Prophet Solomon. And there is no wonder that the words of Quran and the words of Solomon are going of, uh, in the same direction, in the same direction. Because these both books are the word of God. Both books books are the words of one the God, one God. So that's exactly the direction that we have to go in the direction of your teacher, to find the word of God in uh, Turkish, in Arabic, in English, in Hebrew, in every language, in this book, in this book, in all the books of God, all the books that God have given us in order to guide us, to guide us to the right direction, which is, of course, the, the, the way to him, to himself, him, his name again and again. I remember that in Arabic and in Hebrew, the very name of God is Salam or Shalom. And he who works for God, he works for Shalom. What kind of God is a law? Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the entirely merciful, the especially merciful. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, he is Allah, who is one. Allahu samad. Allah, the eternal refuge. He neither begets nor is born. Nor is there to him any equivalent. Launched on 17th March 2009, Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer GOCE, is bringing about a whole new level of understanding of Earth's model of geoid, which is the surface of an hypothetical global ocean in the absence of tides and currents, shaped only by gravity. To everybody's surprise, such mapping revealed that the Earth is not a perfect sphere. To everybody's surprise, the Earth rather look like an egg. Nevertheless, the egg-shaped Earth concept is not a modern discovery. More than 1400 years ago, the ancient text of the Quran revealed such shape of our planet.